Hello guys, how have you been these days? Hope you feel well. Today we're gonna talk about a new subject called platforming game and we're gonna talk about a little bit more about platformer features and such things. So I've searched a little bit about this one and I found uh, some uh, typical features of platformer games which can, uh, which can we discuss about them and know a little bit more about these games. Platform game commonly referred as a platformer. Platformer is a style of video game where the player makes a character move through an environment with series of action-based moves like running, jumping, swinging from ropes, and platformer is one that traditionally features two-dimensional graphics. To sum up, there are four essential features that each of the platformer game has. Interactive environment, third-person perspective, vertical and horizontal movement, and controlled jumping. As you know, one of the most important things in a platformer game is gravity. And for sure, we have to apply the gravity for this uh, sprite, and then start running, jumping, and other things in this game. So, first of all, we need to add a gravity here. So, oh, we have to put it to down and actually make it to move. Uh, sit down uh, until um, touching these edges, actually until touching these black lines and for sure you can see all of the platforms that we use in this game have this black lines because we wanted to say that if this is sprite touches the black lines uh, it should stop um, coming down and for this um, part we need a forever and we need a variable called um, speed y is good there's a good variable for it. Then I wanted to actually uh, set this speed y to zero first of all, and then change it to minus one each time. And I want to change y by speed y. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's working. Let's actually do it again. Uh, first of all, I have to address this sprite to go somewhere. Um, maybe here is good, but this one I have to change it. Yeah. Yeah, it's working and it's good. Uh, now we can see the gravity as we have it, as we had it uh, in Fruit Ninja and we've uh, talked about it. And uh, now I wanted to say that whenever you touch uh, this black line, I don't want it to go down and I want you to stop yourself here. So for this part, we need an if clause. If touching what? Touching colors better. Um, touching black color. If touching black color, I want to stop it. Maybe stop is good right now. Let's check it again. Actually, it's not working. I don't know why. Okay, um, maybe the color is not that much good. Uh -huh. Here. Here. Let's check it again. Yeah. As you can see, it's coming down and then stop, but not on the edge, not on the line. It's a little bit uh, downer. So, uh, what can I do? How can I just uh, move it up and make it to go upper? I have to do something. Maybe a new block uh, can help me in this case. I can say fix. Um, fix touching ground or other things that you really wanted to say. Okay. Uh, this block is gonna help us to move it a little bit upper. So in this case, um, instead of stopping the game, I just wanted to uh, add this one and say, just go a little bit upper, but um, till when? Till not touching the edge or not touching the color anymore. So I need to go to the operator, choose not and touching color. So repeat until maybe is better. Uh, repeat until not touching the color and come upper so 
I'm coming here and select the change y by 1. Okay, let's check it again. As you can see, it's going to be uh, it's going to come up, but it's not good because I can't see uh, the operation of it. Maybe I have to edit this block and uh, select the run without screen refresh and it helps me uh, to see the results, not the animation. And it's really good because whenever I click this one, I can't see the animation of this block and I just uh, can see the results of this block. Okay, so whenever I click it, I can't see the animation anymore, as you can't see. But it's going to be coming down again after ending this part. I'm going to actually add uh, another block to this part. I wanted to set the, uh, set the speed y to 0. Set the speed y to 0 after this uh, operation. Yeah, as you can see, it's going to stop and it's really great. After that, we wanted to use Another thing, another variable to make it move smoothly uh, through left and right. Okay, in this case, uh, we wanted to actually change the x, uh, change the x by something. But first of all, we need to say whenever I click the left arrow, I wanted to change the x by something, and whenever uh, I click the right arrow, I wanted to change it to something else. Okay, so we need two if clause here. One for the left part, left arrow, and the other one for the right arrow. Uh, okay, we're going to sensing, key, right arrow pressed, and key, left arrow. Okay, it's great. And I'm gonna add it here. Okay. But it's not worked that much smoothly. I wanted to add a little bit friction uh, to this part. So, uh, how can I add a fraction here? Maybe we need another variable called speedx. Yeah, speedx. And uh, through this speedx, I wanted to. I don't want to actually change it. Uh, maybe I need to actually make a change y here. And then, in each of these uh, if clauses, I wanted to change the speed x instead of change x by. And set the speed x, for example, this part to... Maybe change the speed x is better because I wanted to make it move faster whenever I am um, keeping clicking this uh, right arrow. And uh, speed x. And I wanted to add a speed x to this one, but instead of adding to it, I wanted to reduce the speed x. And then, uh, after that, I wanted to stop my, I wanted to stop my sprite by setting the speed x, or maybe stopping the speed x or uh, making it zero by adding a friction to this uh, game. So we know that friction is almost uh, zero point eight, and I wanted to multiply multiple, multiple uh, zero point eight to speed x. So in this case. It's gonna move smoothly to right and left arrow, as you can see. But uh, if I just want to move um, faster, I can add to this one. Okay, let's check it again. Yeah, it's working really better. And as you can see, it's gonna work really awesome. And smoothly. Okay, that's awesome. By the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and put notifications on. As we've talked about and discussed about every detail of these codes, uh, it seems really great and awesome, and um, we think that it's gonna be it's gonna work really good. But uh, whenever we start to go and start jumping or even touching the walls here like this, we're gonna be up. Okay, we're gonna jump automatically from that actually wall, but we don't want to do it. Uh, as you can see, we write here that whenever we touch the uh, black color, we wanted to change white by one, and we're gonna actually go up till we um, till we're not touching that anymore. But in this case, if I just edit this code and run this uh, run this block without screen refresh and make it animated. We can see that for each of these things, whenever I touch the black wall, 
I'm gonna go upper and upper till I get this point and till I'm not until I'm not touching the black line okay so it's not good because we wanted to jump through this wall and not I don't want it to uh, jump it automatically so in this case this blocks actually this a customized block isn't working properly and we have to change it a little bit more uh, to make it good and to make it somehow that it's not gonna actually go through these walls and jump automatically and something like this. It might be better if, uh, if we save the last Y position before we touch the black lines and uh, for sure it will need a variable. It will need a new variable called last value. Whenever it touches the uh, black lines, I wanted to actually uh, stop it and I wanted to do these blocks but I wanted to change it a little bit to make it more um, better and make it work properly. So in this case, uh, first of all, we need to change a little bit these things. Uh, I'm gonna actually um, drag all of these Y position things here and just put this one here to make it work properly but first of all we need to save the y position and to the last value so set the last value to y position for each time for each second we wanted to set the last value to y position to the last y position that we have okay and then uh, if i touch the black line or if i touch the black color i'm gonna actually set y set y to this last value and then this last value is going to be the last Y position that we have before we touch the black color. So it's really important and we have to use last value instead of Y position because Y position is always changing. But last value is just changing before touching the black color. Okay, now uh, if touching black color, set Y position to last value and set speed Y to zero. Let me check it again. Yeah, it's working, and it's working just like this one, and I, have, and I can actually remove all of these blocks instead of that. Now you can see that it's worked, but it doesn't have any interaction uh, about these walls, but uh, we have to actually add a jump here, and it's not uh, gonna actually jump automatically from this wall, and it's really great. Now we have to actually set the last value to X position and say that whenever we touch the black color uh, we don't want it to change the x position and we want it to actually stop in this point so in this case we have to set the last value to y position after this one after all of these things to actually x position this time and then i wanted to change x by last change x by speed x i'm gonna actually add it here and then I'm going to um, add another if block here and say whenever I touch the black line, I'm gonna actually set x position, set x to y to last value. Set x instead of y this time to last value. And set speed x to zero. Okay, it's just like that one. But this time, we're gonna actually do it for walls and uh, we're gonna actually make it to stop um, in the actually X direction. So, uh, now again, we wanted to actually uh, examine it if it's working or not. Yes, it's working and it's working properly and I can't go further these walls. I have to jump through these walls. So, in this case, we have to add a jump here. Uh, for adding a jump, we need um, one of these blocks to, re to be repeated for maybe a space is good for jumping and that change, uh, not changing, maybe set set speed y uh, to something like, I don't know, maybe 10 is good 10 to jump a little bit now, just, uh, I want to check it yeah, it's working it's working properly and I can actually jump through these walls by actually pressing the space button yeah as you can see, it's working and it's really good and awesome. And we can actually continue these blocks and these platformer games by adding much more detail to this game and adding some score and points and even levels uh, to make it really awesome. It's a lot for your attention. Hope you like this video and check out these two videos. Thank you and see you.